if you've gotten this far, you're on step 5 of solving the 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. This step requires that you have the blue cross completed on the top and the sides and the green bottom correct. What we need to do in this step is to match up the sides of the blue cross with the sides of the centers. What I like to do is to start with the red center. So you're going to start with your blue cross in whatever position. I like to line up the red here. What you're going to look for is look on the other side. You're going to look for two sides that are next to each other that are correct. In this case, the red and the white are not correct. If I check the yellow, those ones are not correct. So this is not a good starting position. So I'm going to turn the cube. We're going to find the white side. And now I'm going to check again. Are there any adjacent sides that are in the correct position? In this case, the white and the orange, that's no good. Yellow and orange is no good. Uh, that one's no good either. Okay, so after the white side, we're going to check the orange side. Now that I have the orange oriented correctly, if I look at, oh, look at this. So now I have the orange and the yellow side, two adjacent sides are oriented correctly, and the red and the white side are oriented incorrectly. This is a solvable position. Okay, and the move is actually pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to start by, um, you're going to want to find the side that's facing you that has an incorrect side, and the other incorrect side should be to your back left here. Okay? So you're going to start with the cube facing you on, on the one side. We're going to turn up and create a green bar. We're going to turn this top to break that green bar and put the green over here on the left. We're going to put this green back down. We're going to spin this green and put it back in the far left-hand corner. So now it's way back here. Now we're just going to bring that exact same green bar up too. And now we're just going to rotate the top two to reconnect that green. And then we're going to put this green bar back down. And lastly, we're going to spin the top one just to reorient all the colors so they all line up. And you should notice that the red and the white and the orange and the yellow all line up. That's, the, that's all that it takes for this step. There is, however, one permutation. You may, when you start this step, not have two adjacent sides that are correct at the beginning. Sometimes you will end up with this and this being a match, but you cannot make two adjacent pieces be correct. In that case, you perform that same move one time, and it will mix up the other corners, and then you will definitely have two adjacent corners that are correct. And then you can do the move a second time to solve the other two. So at most, you should never have to do this, that step, more than twice. And when you complete that, you'll have a blue cross with the sides all correct. All right. Thanks a lot.